Hey, what's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to my comfy couch. I get comfy here. I do beastly thoughts here. I'm in my bedroom. This is where all the magic happens. Today I want to talk to you guys about Rise of the Tomb Raider coming to the PlayStation 4. Now, I took it up on myself when this game uh, initially released on the Xbox One to wait uh, like I do on some, some games. I decided to wait for the year. You know, the exclusivity, the exclusivity ran out. I wanted to wait and see what PlayStation was going to get with the PlayStation version of the game. There was a lot of hubbub uh, out in the, the interwebs about PlayStation possibly not getting the game or being permanently delayed. And Square just came out and they just basically solidified a release date for the PlayStation 4 version of Rise of the Tomb Raider and some really interesting news to go along with it. So, Rise of the Tomb Raider on PlayStation 4 will be releasing on October the 11th. And, um, not only is it going to be releasing on PlayStation 4 that day, it's going to come with a bevy of new and very uh, exciting uh, bit of content. Not only are you going to get the base game, you're also going to get all the DLC that was previously released on the Xbox One. You're going to get a uh, two-player co-op endurance mode. You're also going to get the Blood Ties Story Mode DLC, which is new for the PlayStation 4 version of the game. And uh, the Blood Ties DLC actually has you inside the Croft Mansion fighting zombies in Laura's dream uh, and this mode has something to do with Laura's uncle claiming the rights to the the family and and the ownership of the Croft Mansion and basically what you have to do uh, in this mansion is find the information that leads to you knowing that you are the rightful heir to your father's secret so it has a new zombie mode it has a, a new co-op mode all that's really uh, exciting it has all the DLC that's previously released it has new outfits, it has new uh, expedition cards, it has new weapons, and all the skins that were released, but it also has something that I didn't expect. It has PlayStation VR functionality with the new story campaign mode, uh, Blood Ties. So you're going to be actually be able to play this new mode, or this new campaign mission, uh, fully immersed in VR, and I think that's really, really incredible. Uh, I decided to wait. For the PlayStation 4 version of the game, I wanted to see what they would have. Usually, if you wait, you know, they say patience is a virtue, and I think it really paid off here. Uh, I'm really excited, you know, to get my hands on this game next month. Uh, I think that uh, this is a great value, and for people who did buy it on the Xbox One early adopters, you're not totally left out in the cold here. On the day of release, they're going to add all this new DLC, including the new campaign mission, to Xbox One and PC gamers who have the season pass. So if you have the season pass and you own it on Xbox One or PC, everything I mentioned here, besides the PlayStation VR, is going to be included. So I think it's a great value. This is celebrating, well Square wants to celebrate uh, Tomb Raider's 20 year anniversary. Lara Croft has been bouncing around for 20 years. And God, that makes me feel so old. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section below. Uh, did I do the right thing by waiting on the PlayStation 4 version? I honestly think so. Uh, you guys tell me what you think in the comment section. Be sure to give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and tell all your friends about me. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey,